This man is walking in the air with no protections whatsoever on a cable that is 412 meters above the ground. This is a true story. Not only was he going to walk to the other side, he also planned to perform during the walk, such as turn around in a jump, get down on one knee on the cable, or get down on both knees, even sleep on that cable. Could he accomplish such a feat? Let's continue watch. His name is Felipe Petty, a French, at 8 years old. He became obsessed with wire walk performance of the circus. He then started to practice with rope in his home, initially with four of them, then gradually reduced to only one. Later, Petty joined the circus. He hide failures to during his public performances. Once he even fell into a river, he knows that performance such as this often do not have the second chance. One day, he read on the newspapers that the Twin Towers of New York World Trade Center is about to be finished. It would be a building of for 12 meters, 88 meters taller than that of Eiffel Tower. Believing that he has found the goal of his life, he decides to perform wire walk between the two towers. Arriving in New York with his girlfriend, Petty stood atop World Trade Center and opened his arms to fill up the 412 meters height. He would fly to the other side due to the fact that the building of the Twin Towers has yet been finished. Petty hence pretends to be traveler, worker and contractor to check the ground. After build up a model and made up the plan of set the cable, he starts to practice, such as walk on the cable without telling his girlfriend, all the while asks her to shake the cable, to mimic the shaking of cable in heights. Petty Hutt also built his own team. The night before the performance, they secretly transported all the equipment to the top and set up the cable between Northern and Southern Tower through shooting. At a long hut cost the man entire the night, so start the challenge. He steps onto the cable and starts to walk. One step, two step and three step. Patty walks to to the center of the cable. His girlfriend on the ground was excited. All the while passer be Alsted and watch. The stick in Patty's hands was eight meters long and weighed 50 pounds. Petty managed to reach the place where the cable was fixed. There are screws and a flat piece of board. He could help step on them to stabilize his body. Yet Petty chooses to walk through it and keep on march forward. He smiles because of the good feelings, seeing that he's closer and closer to the northern tower. His photographer quickly takes a shoot at the moment of victory. Finally, Petty managed to step on the hard ground of the northern tower. Yet this is merely the warm-up. He's far from done yet. What's incredible is that he intends to walk all the way back to where he starts. This man is truly fearless. He is walking atop a cable up for 112 meters heights, with no protections whatsoever. If he falls, he will smash himself to pieces. On the way back, he walks even faster, almost like cat walks. Petty stops at the middle of the cable. He starts to bend down on his knees. Blood is leaking through his shoes. That was the wound he suffered a few months ago that have yet recovered. In the end, Petty managed to bend on one knee on the cable. He opens up one of his arms. To those who knows him, they knew that he was paying respect to the cable. Then to the Twin Towers. And finally, to New York City. He then stood up and continues the walk. Suddenly, two security guards reached the top and arrested Petty's assistant. All the while yell at Petty, ordering him to come down right now. Petty was nervous as well. Slowly, he walks to the security guards. They extend their hands, going to drag Petty back. Yet he suddenly stops. You think this is the end? By no means. He suddenly put the balancing stick on his shoulder, then managed to turn around in a jump. The security guards were all dazed. Patty continues to walk towards the center of the cable. Patty put the balancing stick on the cable, then kneels on the stick with his hands on his knees. It is a very cool stance. Looking down from this position is also very thrilling. Patty opens up his arms to enjoy it all. Suddenly, noises come from the northern tower, knowing that there's going to be more troubles. His two assistants quickly hide behind the door. Turns out it were another group of security guards. His assistants managed to escape without being noticed. The security guards order Petty to come to them. Yet he starts to perform tango on the cable. Scare the hell of the security guards. Yet he's still not done yet. With another spectacular turn, the perform continues. Petty walks to the center and crouched. He put the balancing stick on the cable and step on it with one foot. He managed to stand straight, although the cable was shaking non-stop, but all was within his control. Petty opens his arms to greet his audiences. 
then continues his performance. Security guards on the other side decide that should to get closer again. They'd catch him this time, yet he stops again when he was about a person's length from them, putting the stick on his shoulder and turn around once again. Patty will do something even more amazing this time. He walks to the center of the cable and sits down. Then after some adjustment, he lays on the cable. A question to y'all. In Chinese wuxia novels, who likes to sleep on a rope? The man sleeps on a cable, 412 meters above the ground, with no protections or even a balancing stick which it puts on his belly. More and more people start to gathering on the ground. They were anxious due to the coming storm, yet Petty does not know that. He starts to embrace the sky to feel up the nature. Suddenly a bird fly to him, noticing of the red eyes of the bird that stares at him. Petty suddenly gets a sense of danger, hence he decides it's time to go back. Petty gets back on his feet, then starts to walk back to the southern tower. Yet the wood that was used to fix it the cable has been twisted due to the weight, and the cable starts to shake. Suddenly the wood was broken, and Petty missteps. Thanks to his trainings, he didn't put too much force in that foot. A helicopter has come now and starts to drive him back. The wind caused by the air screw affects Petty greatly. Knowing that the performance is over, he put the balancing stick on his shoulder and walked to the end. The cable starts to shake when he's about to reach the end. Yet his teacher once taught Petty that most of those wire walker who die, they die when they think they are about to reach the end. Because even when you are close to the destination, you are still on the cable. Yet Petty was experienced and isn't afraid. He stabilizes himself and throws the stick back to the security. Finally he walks back to the tower and finished his perfect performance. People on the ground were all cheering and applause to him. When Petty was brought down from the tower, the corridor was full of people. This is the most fantastic performance they have ever witnessed. Journalists all swarmed to Petty, who became famous through his action. Few days later, judges sentenced that Petty was guilty of trespassing and hindering public order. But nothing else. So close the case. Afterwards, when the building of the Twin Towers was finished, Petty was granted the privilege of free visiting the top for free the rest of his life. It has been the proud of Petty. The end. The name of the movie is The Walk. Question, why do wire walkers must have that stick in their hands? Leave your answer in the comments. This movie was based on real event. Petty's challenge was at the New York World Trade Center that was just built at the time. In 2001, during the 911 incident, the Twin Towers were destroyed by terrorism attack. More than 3,000 people died because of it. Petty's feat has become a swan song of the history. Never will it be repeat a second time. Yet it has become a part of New York City's memory alongside the Twin Towers. Well, that's all there is this time. Remember to leave kudos for the video and subscribe if you like it. See you next time. Bye bye.